What up the droids with the two here, the power of Kazakhstan. They are bring you some Russian power episode 8. They were gonna be using Kiparis. It was designed by Afanasyev and uh, the date of the release or like uh, the, the, the date of the design and mass production went after 1974. And the caliber it shoots is 9mm by 18mm. Uh, which you can say it's just basically 9mm round and the weight of this gun is 2 kilograms with a magazine so it's pretty light 2 kilograms is pretty light for two to hold like hold it with two hands gun and I kinda like it uh, it's link uh, unfolded uh, like you know the foldable stack unfolded it is 590 millimeters, which is about more than a half of the meter, which is quite short in my opinion. And um, I, I think that's what I expect f the submachine guns to be. It's got to be kind of short. But with folded stock, it's 350 millimeter. Okay, the magazine size, there's two. And uh, this game, it's right. Yeah, you probably guessed. One of them is 20 and 30 extended mags. Okay, effective... Um, Effective range or like range of this gun is 150 meters. Muzzle velocity is 320 meters per second. The rate of fire of this gun is 600 till 900 rounds per minute, which is very high for this submachine gun. And always submachine guns gotta have really high rate of fire to kill people quick. Actually, one funny fact that it w the gun was designed in 1970s but it weren't mass produced till 1990s and this gun is primarily used by police and uh, special forces in small numbers because this gun is not kind of popular comparing to AK-47 or AK-74U. Kiparis was also claimed that is very accurate f uh, in full automatic fire and even more in semi-automatic fire despite its really high rate of fire. Did you get it? Also one unusual thing in the gun that the pistol grip is made of plastic and it is less durable comparing to the uh, the wood one of course and uh, why he made it of plastic so to make it more cheap comparing to the wood one since wood costs more. That's pretty much it for the gun because it is not very used gun it's basically used by the police force and various backups troops and um, this gun is kinda unpopular maybe should I say because um, it, it didn't get its fame and it's not used that often and I don't know how this gun got into the game which is kind of quite unusual I think uh, that it got into Black Ops game but who cares it's still in the game and it is a pretty great gun you should use it now let's get into the Black Ops stats that's probably kinda you wanna hear and why I'm doing it for Black Ops stats because the game is new, right? You probably want to hear the Black Ops stats right now. So, the damage it does is 30 to 20. Okay, the damage multipliers for this gun is 1.4 for the head, 1, 1 for the body, and 1 for the limbs. Magazine size is 20, which is quite low in my opinion. That's why I always run extended mags. And uh, 30 with extended mags. Locked at well, it unlocked after you purchased all the submachine guns, or in other words, f level 41, because that's when all the submachine guns are unlocked. Okay, cost is 202,000 cut points. Starting ammunition is 60 and 20 in your magazine. Maximum ammunition is 160, with scavenger equipped, of course. Reload time is 2.1 seconds. Rate of fire is 900 runs per minute, which is quite high, and I find that you would not need rapid fire to do successful. If you put rapid fire, it just eats through armor really quickly. The penetration of this gun is medium, which is okay for the submachine gun, I guess. And it is used by in campaign by Soviet armed forces. I just want to say that. I recommend using Kiparis with uh, grip or the extended max because it eats through armor really quickly and it has kinda high recoil at medium and long ranges so I recommend grip but I think extended max will take it over because I just hate running out of ammo because it just has 20 bullets that's that's it and I don't really like it 
Now, I would not recommend buying Kipris as a classified weapon because it is not that good uh, of the classified weapon comparing to like assault rifle G11, and it's not that good in general. It just, it just only only gun it can overcome is I think Mach 11 and Uzi in my opinion. And those are two guns I cannot use because of the iron sights. And Kipris, I love the iron sights. Good old Russian iron sights. They they just look like AK iron sights. And I love AK iron sights. Because I love AK. AK for the freaking win. And you actually kind of see me doing is pick up the other people weapons. Because, I don't know, I just sometimes do that whenever I feel like the gun is kind of bad. And mm, look at this gold AK-47. I love gold AK-47, cause I don't know, it's I just love AK-47. It's just my favorite gun in any video game. If video game has AK-47, my favorite gun. And actually, I haven't done Russian power for AK-47, and uh, I still have not decided which game I should do. One thing I recommend to use with Kipris is the reload canceling, because it has really quick reload if you can reload cancel which basically like during the reload you either tap YY or you run and uh, this is quite useful why because it, it it will have a less reload time comparing to other uh, submachine guns and look at this chopper gunner it's gonna be shot down really quick to be honest with you and uh, it, it just got shot down by a Valkyrie rocket that guy was skillful with Valkyrie rocket probably a battlefield guy no I'm just kidding and actually, that's pretty much it. I have about one minute left. And overall, Kipris is a pretty good gun in Black Ops. Not as good as the others, so that's why it's not used as much. Also, it's really hard to unlock because it's classified weapon. And uh, it's actually quite good weapon to use if you can handle with its recoil and iron sight and the low ammunition. And... Uh, you, you could be beast, just like if you can use MPL or PM63, you can be beast with it. And uh, actually, one thing I found funny in Black Ops, why so many submachine guns have 20 rounds? And th that is kind of annoying. Whoa, <laughs> gold thermal galil, uh, whatever. But in the real life, Kipris is basically used by police force because it's a submachine gun. And uh, usually in in the war, you you would not use submachine guns. You would use high all-purpose assault rifles. But submachine guns are mostly used by spec ops or special forces, if you want to say it that way, or uh, police or any any type of police like SWAT or something like that. And uh, yeah, overall, Kipris, it is a pretty pretty good gun in both real life and Black Ops. One thing that they should have done in Black Ops is at least gave it 30 rounds, I think. Because it just eats so much bullets. But anyways, the commentary coming to the close. And uh, I pick up the 74U. Pretty, I hate this gun in Black Ops, but I love it in Car 4. But anyways, thanks for watching. The Droid 2 is turning off.